It is early. We're actually running late. We are going to meet our realtor at our house. We are super excited. We closed on the house on Wednesday, this past Wednesday, and the um, homeowners at the time had to rent the house back from us for three days. So yesterday was the third day, so we get the keys this morning. So he's probably at the house waiting for us because we were supposed to meet him at 7.30 and we are not there. So, welcome to our new home. All right guys, we are in the house. So super excited. My favorite part is the star on the front door. <laughs> but um, you first walk in and you have the office. Really nice size room. This, when they were doing the appraisal, was considered a fifth bedroom. It's not huge, but it's perfect size for an office. It has a window and a really, really nice size closet. This closet is huge. Hi. Look how big this closet is. I mean, you could fit like a bed in here. I feel like a baby bed in here. It's pretty funny. So we've got French doors here. I need to be wiping down all these doorknobs because it is virus time and we need to be sterilizing all this stuff. So we will be washing our hands soon. This, I believe, is the formal dining room <clears throat> and we'll be taking the carpet out, I think, and putting in some kind of like hardwood flooring. But then we have a bay window, really, really pretty. And then this is the hallway and the lawn. Oh, that's the closet, just kidding. Hallway closet. I cannot wait to, to decorate this, this place. I am so excited. Walk a little bit further in and we have our laundry room. It is a really nice size laundry room. We're going to, I think, take this out, probably put cabinets up. I'm gonna do probably farmhouse style. So these are gonna be some white cabinets, really gorgeous. And then we'll have our, our washer and dryer supposed to be delivered on Thursday. Today is Sunday, so we have like four days without a washer and dryer. And then I love this. We have a sink in our laundry room. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. It actually works! Yeah! Drawer, cabinets. Super awesome. And then you walk right across the hall and here's the bathroom. We've already brought the toilet paper because you can't live without toilet paper. Hi! I love the lights. I love the lights. Some of them have like the round bulbs, but these are some of my favorites. And then we have towel. Let's lose. Have to secure that. I cannot decorate. Wait to decorate this place. So excited. So, just probably need to fix up the cabinets and some of these, but that's okay. And then we have the staircase. The only thing that I'm not fond about this house is that the staircase goes straight up. Um, we have all of our kids like fall down the stairs, so that makes me really nervous. Um, and then we have our beautiful kitchen. Yeah. Now the kitchen is not perfect. Um, the cabinets are a little bit dark for me, but you know, we'll manage. It's still, I'm still in love with this kitchen. And most of the homeowners take their refrigerators with them, but we actually requested that they leave it. So this was one of the things that we got in the deal. And there is ice in there. We actually have an ice machine. We've never had an ice machine. Let's see, cubed, sweet, and it works. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so then we do have granite countertops and tons and tons of counter and cabinet space. Super excited about that. I'm not sure what that is, but that's okay. And then we have a little bit of walk-in pantry. Where's the light? There is a light. I just don't see the switch. Let's see. There's a oh, pantry. I love it. So much space. There's so much space in this house. It's great. All of the cabinets. Perfect. We're going to have to put some contact paper down because some of these are a little bit bubbled, but it's no problem. So then there's, I love the backsplash. There's something about this neutral backsplash that I absolutely love. We do have a gas um, stove top, which I absolutely love. I love cooking on gas. And then this is the coolest microwave ever. It is Maytag and the plate is square. So it shifts in a square instead of round. 
I just thought that was the craziest thing. I don't know, I mean, because you can fit like a lasagna in here with no issue. And let me see, maybe it's a convection microwave. I don't know, I'll have to look into that. But, guys, we just have so much space, it's awesome. All right, so there's the rest of the kitchen. Stainless steel oven, we have a stainless steel dishwasher as well, pretty good shape. And then we have our little eating nook. We actually got a table the other day from Habitat for Humanity, so we'll be bringing that in today. We have a huge backyard, guys. Like, a huge backyard. Not the biggest patio, but we were gonna, we're gonna do something about that. <laughs> what? Oh, really? So there is the overview. And we have a fireplace. We have a beautiful curtain rod that they left. I'm super excited about that. We will be taking the carpet out of here and replacing that. Oh my goodness, we just realized that they left this. That is the coolest thing. We have a basketball hoop in our house. Guys, isn't this amazing? Yeah, it's amazing. We move into our very first home in Dallas. And the, the previous homeowners leave a basketball hoop. I hope it's not broken. <laughs> this oh, is our media room. What? They left the, they left the speakers in the... Where? The projector. Wait, is there a projector? No, they, left the, they just left the speakers. The speakers? Maybe they have... They probably have built-in ones in their new house. This is amazing. We have speakers. I wonder if they work. <laughs> Oh, well, that's the yeah, amplifier. That's the yeah, that's the amplifier. <gasps> <laughs> Gotta hook them up and see if they work. So this is the theater room. Pretty awesome. Probably gonna get some theater seats, popcorn machine, something. So this is when you first walk up the stairs. This is, this, we are super excited yeah. about this place. All right, so here is one bedroom. Great space. I don't know how big these are. I think they're 12 by 12, I think. So, man, this is just enough room for our daughter. A we'll walk-in closet in here. I do need to get in here with the um, rainbow vacuum and do some cleaning up, but right now it's just perfect. We don't have any ceiling fans, so we'll be buying those and installing them, but this is just amazing. Okay, there's the staircase. And then we have bathroom number, I don't know. We have four bathrooms total. Nice sink, there is only one sink in here, which I was kind of bummed about, but there's another bathroom upstairs, so not a big deal. These are the lights I'm not fond of, so I think I'll be replacing these eventually. But same toilet is downstairs. And then we have our shower. They were supposed to fix something in here because the light was flickering when it got hot. And we might even be replacing this eventually, but there's no shower curtain rod in here. I have to put one in. Maybe they'll just be taking a bath for now. <laughs> there's no shower curtain rod in here. All right, then we have this nice long hallway. You can see out to the downstairs. We do have a gas fireplace. And then this is the Jack and Jill bathroom, so it has doors on both sides. And then a cute little balcony. You can see our front door. And then this is the biggest of the kids' bedrooms. Really, really big size. I think this is gonna be Grant's bedroom. Pretty nice size. And then kind of a walk-in closet, I guess you could say, but plenty of room for him. I mean, it, we t could technically take this part of the wall out and just make it like a French door. Could possibly do that, we'll see. And then we have a linen closet up here. Really nice size linen closet. And the second upstairs bathroom. Okay, still no shower curtain. The light bulb is out. We will need to be, we are gonna be putting some energy efficient light bulbs in here and then there's no they took out the towel bar for some reason maybe it fell who knows 
So we will be cleaning up these bathtubs and bathroom. This will probably be Grant's bathroom. And then we have, this will probably be Mason's room. <clears throat> Mason's closet, which is also not a walk-in, but it still has plenty of room in there. So that's perfect. And that is the upstairs. Oh yeah, this is plenty of room for little Mason. All right, so that is the tour of the upstairs. Yay! You gonna do a carpet angel with me? Do a carpet angel with me. Nice. <laughs> okay, and then we have an alarm system that we need to cut off. Huge, huge storage closet under the stairs. So that's perfect. Ha! Now I see what you meant. They must have stored their Christmas tree under here because there's a whole bunch of pine needles in here. It'd be funny. So that's the storage closet. And we have a lovely security system that we've got to figure out how to turn the beeping off. And then we have the master bedroom. I don't remember the size of this, but it's like 14 by 16, I believe. Pretty big size, considering we're only gonna have a bed and then nightstands and maybe one dresser, so. And then we have vaulted ceilings. This is the only room besides the living room that has a ceiling fan, but that's okay. We will manage that. We have French doors. And my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite part of the house is a huge, giant bathtub. I'm in love with bathtubs. I cannot wait to decorate this whole area. It's gonna be amazing. And then we have our linen closet, pretty much the same as upstairs. And this will be my husband's shower. Obviously I will use it as well, but mostly for him. We're probably going to install a different shower head. So, but yeah, this is, this is pretty worn out. So eventually we'll be redoing this, which I'm sure he will be excited about. And then, the toilet room, of course. Nothing fancy schmancy, but gets the job done. And one thing I'm really loving is the fact that you can turn the fan on for a certain amount of time and then it automatically shuts off. So I thought that was really neat. I love the fact that the bathroom is totally separate from the rest of, or the toilet is totally separate. Come on, refocus. Thank you. Huge mirror. Love the lighting once again. And then we have two sinks. We have two sinks. So that's super exciting because being in the military for the last 20 years, my husband, um, any place that we went, we rarely had two sinks in the master bathroom. It was share a sink. We have a counter long enough for two sinks. We only have one sink. So it was crazy weird. Um, so I'm really, really excited. And then, we see the other window. Okay, there's a frosted window. I was wondering if I had to cover up the window, but I don't. And then, our closet. We have a walk-in closet, which we are loving, loving, loving. I don't even have enough clothes to fill this closet, but we will figure that out later. Let's see what else we've got here. I don't know what that plug-in is for, but it could be for the security system. So, we are just elated over this home okay friends that was the empty house tour i hope you guys enjoyed it um i'm not going to be showing too much of the outside for you know safety reasons and I'm probably not going to be showing the garage either just like i said for safety reasons but um i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know this is our huge surprise we've been searching since like august of last year for a home and this home for us has just been perfect so um Anyways, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll talk to you in the next video. Jared brought the coffee. We have coffee! Coffee, 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 coffee. Bye!